Today, I'm gonna talk about my fight in 2012 against Rodolfo Vieira. And we are back with Thursday Mindset Breakdown. Today, I'm gonna talk about my fight in 2012 against Rodolfo Vieira. A lot of people ask me what's the greatest fight or the best fight of my career. I always say this fight because I remember before walking, stepping in the mat, I thought I, I was sure that if I win the fight, I would be somebody in Jiu Jitsu, but if I lose, I would be only one more. That was my mindset before the fight. I remember because that fight, Rudolf in the year before he beat me, he was the favorite. It was a lot of going on. So a lot of going on in my head before the fight. So I knew it would change my life somehow. Funny thing, this fight wasn't even semi-final or final. It was quarter-final. That means whoever loses this fight would, would go home without even a medal. So I remember like, I didn't want to wait for him to start ahead, so I didn't want to him to, to get the grips and take me down. So you see, as soon as he make like good grips, I pull guard. I couldn't close, but I stopped. I didn't stop moving until I get this position. So you see, I felt every time I turn upside, I upside down with him, I gave him a, lot, a hard time. So that was my strategy because he needed like time to set up the grip. So I knew that. And that's how I lost the year before because I let him work his grips and stop me. So I knew I couldn't stop moving when I had like a bad position, not bad position, but when I was on bottom was, I think bigger advantage for him. So that's why when I was on bottom, I was trying to explode and to be upside down and to be like a different game than everybody else because I think it would be something that he wasn't ready for. And it worked because I got the sweep right away. So after I got the sweep, he got like into a half guard. And he has a really good uh, guard actually. And then I was trying to like use my speed passing, passing on my feet because it's... I always been like a heavy guy, but I always move it really well on my feet. So I was trying to avoid uh, not avoid, but I was trying to use my speed. That's something that changed eventually with the years. But you see how he tried to get like a good, couple good positions. I got like a folding pass, but he was really good, able like manage to keep his knee out, so I couldn't really smash him and get the proper position to use the folding pass. Of course, I my passing got better during the years, but, but at this time. At this time, um, I wasn't really good on the pressure game. So you see, I was trying like, I remember this fight in my head was like, oh, I either gonna submit to him or I'm gonna get caught because no way it's gonna go 10 minutes. So he was like playing spider guard, controlling my lapel, so. And his grip was so strong. You see how he keep my posture down. He was like looking for the omoplata all the time. And eventually he got, but you see, he was like playing really smart. And nobody really like see him playing too much on bottom. So I wasn't really sure what he was going after. He likes the single X, like this one that he's, he used a couple times before, but I remember I was like trying to submit in every second of the fight. Now I was complaining because I thought he'll like rip the knee over that's not allowed in Jiu Jitsu, I was kind of complaining, but it wasn't a really. So that moment in my head was like, I'm winning the fight, I'm two points ahead, and I'm, I don't care. I just going to submit and I'm going for, for the finish. I remember when the referee touched us, he was like setting up a good sweep and the referee stopped him right away. But that was like a really tough fight, I think. All the referees like were avoiding this fight because 
could be a potential like a like a early final of the competition, let's say like that. So he was trying to play the sit up guard. In my head, like I can't let him be on top again. I'm winning. I'm ahead, but at the same time it was like too long, like almost eight minutes left of the fight. So I knew it would be really hard just to keep on top. So that's why I'm ahead. You know what? I'm in good shape, I'm good cardio, I just go to finish it. I think that's gonna be my, my best strategy, to not stop, to keep going forward the whole time. See, I got a really good on the hook, but every time he pushed me up and he creates space. You see how his bottom knee, he always used the leverage to escape, and then he finally got the omoplata. He, he was like setting up there for a long time since the, the spider guard with the lapel. And then in that position, I said, okay, he has my arm, he's not gonna submit me, but I need to get out of there until he put that hook. Once he put that hook, he blocked my base and I couldn't really, I was waiting too long. And I think he felt, once he got that position, he got the sweep. So you see, in that position right now, he swept me and ended up almost in my side control. But you see what happened, like, one position that you used to do a lot, but of course it works like, especially against lighter guys, the calf slicer from that situation. And it, it was something that I do in training, but you know, not, again, not in an important fight like that. Nobody would tap in a calf slicer. And especially Rodolfo Vieira, one of the toughest guys out there. So, but I saw the position, I tried. So you see, I closed like a real naked choke in his calf and locked the triangle, but it was a horrible idea and he passed right away. You see, he passed my guard and in that moment, you see how I shake my hand and, and I just looked to my corners and my teammates because they were yelling so much like, no, no, like, like the fight was over. So before the fight, I told them like, I know he's gonna pass my guard eventually, sooner or later, and I'm not gonna just panic when that happens because that's when you start doing mistakes. So he passed my guard, I said, okay. I tried to push like a little bit, but I felt he like, Rodolfo's, the pressure that he has is something crazy. So I didn't spend energy. So I look at everyone and I said, okay, relax. I'm not done, I didn't give up. And then I was saving to, saving energy to try to explode in the right time. Because if I try to push him, turn my back, not just to give the points, I would expose my back. And he's the kind of guy that doesn't like lose opportunities. So that's why I, I choose to give, not give, but to accept the side control instead of to give my back. See how he got like a really good position. So I kept my elbows in, my hands protecting my neck. So he was really focused on going to the mount. Now, so I got the, the hook. So that was like, a, not the best decision that I made, but I save a little bit, but he was in a perfect position to pass my guard again. So he was in the side control and then he got the half guard again. So he passed my guard and I managed to get the half guard in the other side. But they gave him, I think, one or two advantages. And then I turned, I was able to turn upside down and I got this position that I do so much like the leg lock from that position. I remember it was so tight. I still can't believe how he didn't tap on that leg lock. I try even like under my armpit, but Rodolfo is so tough and I change like the mindset fast. Okay, he's not tapping. So I just gonna use that to finish on top, which I did. And in that, that moment I was like trying to pass his guard, but I didn't really know how. And he was playing for his like, blind side, not his best side, and, but at the time wasn't my, my best side to pass to. So the referee bring us to the center, start going again. So I didn't, I didn't want him to get the omoplata again, but this time he switched for the leg lock. So I got, I got my shot, then he got his shot. It was really tight. I, I was, I, I'm sure I wouldn't tap for this, but he used his grips really well. So I felt he was controlling my bottom leg. So 
I couldn't finish on top, so he, I knew at the mom, this moment he used, he would use this leg lock attack just to as a sweep and to finish on top. So in this moment I was okay. So when he come up, we're gonna be in the 55th or like I just gonna try be on top. But he was waiting for the right moment. So that's why I hold like a foot lock, not just to try submit or anything, but just to give him like a time to think and. We bring one strategy. You we'll see, we stay on that position for a while. So you see, like I was saying, I knew he, we would finish on the on the fifty fifth. Actually, no, even 55th was a position similar that we did before. That I tried the calf slicer, but the second time, okay, I'm not gonna do the same mistake. And then we get back on our feet. I remember one time about this fight was like, the crowd was crazy. So it wasn't even final, it was Saturday. So not even final day, finals days. And the whole team, the whole arena was watching this fight really close. And the noise, it was something that I still remember how, like it was yesterday. So I did like this, I pulled Rodolfo, I pulled guard, but he, he got my leg inside so fast and look, I was, in the worst position ever. Rodolfo on top, on the half guard, with the underhook. So you see, he passed my guard. Now I turn, but just enough to just bring the leg, uh, the, the half guard again, because I couldn't give up the points. So he got the underhook again. I tried to go deep half guard, but you see how he's like, he managed to bring my arm out from the deep half. So this position, I remember I trained so much because he would pass and I used this grip to bump and give to the half guard. So I remember that transition. Oh, you see how I used the grip just to lift his foot to the, to the half guard. Wasn't the best strategy, but it saved me. I didn't, uh, he didn't get the points. So that was two points. He was in the half guard when he tried to pass. I just bumped him up. Not the beautiful sweep, but gave me the two points. And I, re I don't remember the, the score on, at this moment, I think it was seven for him and six for me. I tried to do this, this position that really like break his grips and then we finish on top. And that moment was like the most important fight, the most important moment of the fight because the take it down that he didn't expect. I remember for a blink of second, he looked at the clock and that was the time that I shoot for a double leg. So it was eight for me, seven for him, and 53 seconds left. And then after we got back for the same position. So in that situation, so I was so confident that I would submit him and he would do a mistake, but Rodolfo, that the kind of guy that didn't give up. And you see what happened. He tried to sweep me to defend the sweep. I had to I had to do like a fast choice in my head. So or I keep a good base and extend my arm or I let him sweep. But if I let him sweep, he would be ahead and I would lose the fight. So I choose to keep like a good base, but eventually my arm got a little bit extended. So and he saw that really fast and transition to the arm bar. That moment when he passed the leg over, I I felt like was almost over. So I remember the, the exactly number, 32 seconds, and he got, I, he got my arm. So in my head I was, you know what, I'm winning. He got my arm, he gonna break it. I'm not go, I'm going to the same final because I'm gonna have a break arm, but he's not going either. So there is no way I'm gonna tap in this one. So with both of us, we're gonna, we're gonna die here in the quarterfinals, but nobody gonna advance. That was the first thing that came in my head. And, but of course, not just being tough, but I was able to hold his lapel with the other hand. So he couldn't really extend 
and get the arm bar completely, but he did for a, like a split of second when he, when he broke my grip, which was like, when I passed the leg over and now I had to let go to post my hand, he got my arm right there. I think popped my arm, but now was out. So when my arm was out, I wasn't really sure how was it because I felt like really extending, but I was on top, I wasn't winning. And right there in this moment, I got the double, double under. So I knew the fight was over. I knew the fight was me. <laughs> I remember you see the crowd, the crowd going wild. Jack McCreel was going crazy. Rodolfo was the favorite at the time. I just eliminated the favorite of the competition and I was in the same final. So it was like a lot of crazy feelings. If you ask me like the best fight of my career, I picked this one because I knew this would be the fight that would change my career. If I lose, I knew he would get more confidence, then next fight would be like maybe the same thing. I don't know if I would beat him after if I didn't beat him the, in that year. So that was like a moment, that, those moments in life that decide your future. And this fight was one of them. I hope you like the breakdown, the mindset breakdown. Don't forget to comment below which fight you want me to comment next. And don't forget to subscribe to subscribe the channel. Thank you.